a seminar on the project Increasing Landscape Resilience to Zoonoses through the Nature Protection System in Central Asia began in the capital. The project will be implemented across five Central Asian countries with a budget of 10.5 million euros. Details are in the following report. During the project implementation, conditions will be provided to transform national ecological systems. Social capital will be developed to support and expand environmental initiatives. And our goal is to prevent or reduce or better manage future zoonotic diseases or outbreaks. What is uh, special about this project is that we will help the countries improve the system of protected areas, not only nationally, but also how they are managed across the border within the region. Knowing that no effective management of zoonotic outbreaks can be achieved by each country individually. The loss of biodiversity, ecosystem degradation and climate change increase the risk of zoonotic diseases. This project will serve as a strong platform for Central Asian countries to coordinate efforts to reduce these risks, protect nature and promote ecosystem health and human well-being. It was noted that following global practices, endangered animal and plant species are listed in the Red Book, while preserved and reproduced once added to the Green List. The seminar also discussed expanding protected areas and conserving biodiversity. Information was provided on the country's achievements in these areas. This event is on preserving ecosystems and biodiversity in the face of climate change. Five years ago, the area of protected natural zones in Uzbekistan was 2 million hectares, covering about 4.6% of the country's land. Now it has expanded to 14.3%, totaling 6.3 million hectares. Foreign experts have highlighted the Uzbek government's efforts in nature protection, particularly recognizing the 2030 environmental protection concept. So we as the Michael Zucker Foundation are working since about now 15 years in Uzbekistan and the collaboration has been improved and increased over the time tremendously. So the, the connection and the collaboration with the Ministry of Ecology has really made a very, very good progress and also we can see that in the results um, and efforts Uzbekistan is doing in conservation. So a lot of protected areas have been established in the meantime. The collaboration with neighboring countries have been improved.